Well, welcome back. I'm George. Here at Barley and Hops, where we try to uncover all the mysteries and folklore and, you know, those things that kind of get in the way of what we do best. I'm out here this morning trying to get caught up on email, but I wanted to make sure I got this video out to you uh, where we delivered that audible proof and trail hydrometer down the mic. Um, it, it, very, very interesting. Oh, God, well, I don't know, what, nine or ten of his closest friends showed up, and uh, we had a... We had a party. It was amazing, and uh, I need to share that with you. Please, if you get an opportunity, subscribe, share this with your friends, give the video a like. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to intro now. Yeah. All right. I look all right? Man, you look good. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Well, everybody, we have made it. We are here in Florida with Mike. Mike, time for you to say... Happy distiller. Happy distiller. There we go. Yes. Look, Mike and I got together today and we go, what are we running, Mike? We are running a sugar wash uh -huh. with about a 13% ABV and it's got a hint of lemon in it. All right. That's because what I'm about. eventually yes. I'm going to turn this, uh, right now I think we're at 190 proof. My still is set up in reflux mode. I'm using the Audible PID, Proportional Integral Derivative, yep. uh, set it and forget it temperature control that George yep. brought out to me last oh. summer. We're using that now, and uh, I'm going to turn this into limoncello. Well, there you go. And we've got the Audible Proof and Trail Hydrometer set that up. And you nice. can see it here that it's running. Um, Mike, I'm just going to turn this on. Yep. So we can... It takes about 20 readings, and it, and it goes through a balances a, a, a balance, an algorithm for an average because it's so sensitive. And uh, we're going to let this thing run. It is running absolutely wonderful. I'm talking about the still itself. Yeah. Mike, uh, as always, man, you never fail to impress. Well, let me tell you guys right now, stop. George, I have to thank you, and I know the community has to thank you, all right? Look, I mean, you have taught a blind person, of all people, a blind person, not only how to do this, but to fully understand anything and create a mad scientist, but also to do it well, confidently, competently, and safely. And... And or George, I got something for you yeah. here. Mike, that's Rachel, a high can, honor. Oh, Rachel, awesome. can you get that? I got something to show my appreciation. Oh, that's great. Before hey, you no, before you grab this, yep. I gotta warn you. Yeah. As a blind person, I totally suck at gift wrapping. <laughs> okay. I end up with a ball of tape wrapped around me. So I came up with a way that would be easy for me to wrap. Oh. Rachel. Oh, look at look at this. Yeah. This now, I want the gift wrap back. You want the gift wrap yeah, back? Yeah, but right? open that thing well, up. Mike, this is this is totally unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. And I'll tell you right now, my, my hat's off to Mark uh, out of uh, Houston down there, who we were on Skype with yeah, earlier, yeah. who's been an integral part of uh, bringing us along the way. Yeah. Mark, if you're listening, this, man, thank you this so is, much. Uh, I enjoyed our chat today. Look, let me tell you what. Uh-oh. This is a... Uh, looks to me like... Great minds drink alike. See, part of the crew now. Part of the crew. Looks like yeah, we got to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to get back. I got to get the proper uniform. We'll be back <laughs> shortly, and uh, we'll give you an update on how things are going down here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. What do you think, man? That's great. Rachel had to help me pick out the color. Oh, that is awesome. She was going through your past man. videos, oh. trying to figure out the size. All right, Mike. We're, we're back. Ready. Uh, I've got my shirt. Great minds drink alike. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is an awesome experience. Okay, now uh, here's where we're at. And Mike, I'm just going to go through the lead in and, and we're going to take it from, I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you okay. explain to everybody else what's going on. All right. Uh, you already know that we're excited to be here. We're glad you're with us. Please, if you get an opportunity, subscribe. Uh, give us a like for no other reason than, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And yes, I've had a beer or two and uh, I will continue to have beer with my friend here, Mike, uh, until you run me out. He's not driving. I'm going to drive him home, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. That's great. All right, so, Mike, what we've got here, and now we're over here towards the still. Okay. Um, we've got almost a quart run, and this has been what we've been running. How long do you think we've been running this? Well, thing? we've been playing around a lot and taking beverage breaks. Yeah, so. I have a group of friends outside, and somehow we got a party out there. So wow. we're taking our time with it, and we're, we're learning as we're going. Yeah. Well, we've got our, our talking parrot is, is telling us what the proof is. And what is it saying? What? 182. 182. We're 182 proof. 
and um, Mike's got this thing balanced perfectly. Uh, and again, my hat's off to you. I don't know how you do this, not being able to see exactly what the hell it is you're doing, but you're explaining to me how you do it through audibly, how you can hear what's happening. Would you explain that? Yeah, well, in my cooler here, my cooling system, I have a, uh, a, 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 a submersible pump, mile high submersible pump, and I've created a valve system here. This stainless steel needle valve, T-valve, uh, feeds the deflagmator, um, a precondenser, um, what's another name for it? Uh, reflux, reflux chamber. chamber. All right. Yeah. But this is a bona fide four tube uh, deflagmator, and it's the you control the water flow with a very precise needle valve. All right. You got water flow in the bottom, coming out. I have a T, and I got a thermal uh, port there with copper wire mesh with a thermal probe stuck in it which feeds into this unit up here, which is a Solis thermo pro, uh, uh, thermometer, which is a wireless, like, barbecue thermometer. And now that's the one that you can get on your phone? Yeah, or? it has an app, Solis okay. Thermal app. I have it up right. You can't hear it because it's going through my headphones. Okay. But I can check the temperature of the outgoing water. Right Phenomenal. now we're running about 172 degrees okay. going out into here. Now, you've, we've got too much water in here and I have my outflow so it drops above the water so I can hear it, all right? But we lost that advantage because we have a lot of water in here. Right. Because I think we were, uh, uh, that was adult beverage number six, but who's accounting? Okay. And, uh, but anyway, uh, we're still safe. And uh, so it's a matter of balancing that water temperature, outgoing water in the deflag, the amount of energy you're putting in the boiler, all right, and then the outflow of the parrot. This is why reflux can be a little tricky. You can keep it simple, stupid, or to extract as much high-proof neutral spirit, you can play this game, all right? So it's pretty cool. I find the whole science fascinating. Right now, we've got everything balanced. We've got a good, steady flow out of the shotgun condenser. We've got a good, even, outflow all right balanced with the amount of energy going in here i have a another uh oh yeah it's Watch. hot mike yeah, it's hot mike <laughs> all right but i have a uh, another thermal probe here just below the deflagmator measuring the temp of alcohol vapor and that's like about 182. and that's just sort of like an uh, that gives you an indicator yes. of how much energy it's picking up going yeah. through that their data points as right their data points okay and what's interesting here is you'll see it as these uh now this is this is really helpful for someone who's sighted because we can see that uh the glasses are the, the, like this third one is is kind of fogged up and now what that means is that you've got a little bit of a temperature inversion, so we're gonna have to make an adjustment to this in just a little bit, Mike. Okay. Um, but what we're looking for is we're looking for clear sight glasses. And if you've got a clear sight glass, that means you've got 100% of your vapors traveling, but you don't have any temperature inversion because what happens when the temperature starts to drop in here? Well, it starts to condense on the side of the glass and it makes it foggy, okay? And that's one good mm -hmm. point to keep in mind. Yes. And, and, and what Mike's explained here in, in great detail, which is super, is, we talk about this all the time is balancing, balancing, balancing. You know, we, we balance our column with our reflux chamber and the deflagmator. And once everything is balanced and you've got control of that temperature, then the sky's the limit. And you're not chasing temperature. You're not chasing temperature. Same so, thing equates with a pot still. Just be patient. Yeah, be patient yeah. and allow it to, to, uh, to settle down. We've got something else here that we wanted to share with everybody, that you wanted to share with us. Yeah. And this is something Mike's got here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold this up so everybody can see right. this. Oh, gosh, this is rather hefty. Yo, ho, home Yo, and ho, a ho. barrel of... And a barrel of what is this? This is Christmas rum that I made oh. last summer. Had to run several batches. <laughs> it's a, a, a molasses and raw cane sugar a, a wash. Remember, no grains is a wash. With grains is a match, all right? And uh, uh, I think we had to make it over three different runs. And we ran it through blueberries in the gin basket. I have a gin basket here. Nothing's in it, right? Um, and I started, I aged it for three months. Uh, London That's calling. This is London, England. Chris, hit that. It's a robocall and hang up. And just start with, I aged it. Go ahead. All right. And I aged it uh, for three months on wood chips. And I used... Uh, Three or four different wood chips. 
charred French white oak, uh, medium toast American white oak, uh, birch wood. Uh, I had one other one in there, I can't remember. But I left it on chips for three months, started getting too woodsy for me, so I pulled it out, pulled the wood chips out, loaded it in a medium toasted uh, white oak 10 liter, 2.64 gallon barrel. Ooh. And it's got uh, almost three months of time on it, and we're gonna do a sampling. When I put it in the barrel, it was at 120. I had to add about a pint of water to bring it all the way to the top and uh, bung it off, cap it off. So I'm getting, we're a little bit above 115 proof. Yeah, and we've lost, you've lost probably a half a pint or so to the uh, angel's share. It's amazing what yeah. you lose to those <laughs> angels. Now, it's something Mike wasn't able to notice since uh, he, he's unable to see me do this. I already poured two shots for us, my friend. Can oh, I have the first one? You no, have the first George, one? Yeah, you, you have. Go. Nope, George, you got to have. Let me hand this to you right, so that we can have, we're going to have these together, my friend. All right. There we go. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, this is the Christmas rum, and it's been a long time in coming. This will be for Christmas gifts this year. George, you're on the list. Oh, you're the man. Happy distilling. Happy distilling. Oh, Mike, that's amazing. Ooh. Oh. She's got some proof to oh, it. Oh, she got. <laughs> That's hey, got a good flavor, though. Hey, it's time. To, it's time to shut down the video. Yeah, uh, yeah, this will be adult beverage number. I lost track. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. And by the way, for anyone who wants to know, uh, we, I've got two mics on. Mike has two mics on. And the purpose of that is for anyone who wanted to know, um, I'm doing my version of on video, and Mike has his own personal video camera going at the yeah. same time. So we've got two copies of this because this is sort of like a. It's it's a chronology. Yeah, and I, I'm setting up my own YouTube channel. So it's uh, when we get it set up. And we're going to make sure that I get you the link to uh, Mike's YouTube channel. Um, it, we're going to reach out to everybody in the community, whether you're blind, whether you're sighted, yep. or whether you have some other impairment that you think may hold you back from accomplishing what Mike's accomplished here, or everyone else has accomplished. Trust me, you can overcome that. Well, trust me, I, I'm just an ordinary, average blind guy. And I'm telling you, don't ever let anything hold you back because of the dumb blink like I can do it. I'm telling you, y'all can do it. Right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy distilling. <laughs>